We had a new CIO and he kept saying in three to five years the skills that IT professionals are going to need are going to be vastly different from what they are now. They're going to be vastly different. And everyone kept nodding their heads, yes, they're going to be vastly different. And someone finally asked the question and said, well, what are those skills going to be? And no one could answer that question. We sent that out to our Ivy Plus colleagues, uh, CIOs at other Ivies and Ivy Plus institutions and said, please do the same thing. And the top 10 skills for Ivy Plus and for Cornell were pretty much the same. And then we got surprised when we looked at it and said, our self-reported best skills, three out of the top five are in the bottom five skills we need in three to five years. And we didn't really have any expertise in the number one skill, which turned out to be um, academic technologies, learning technologies. And we used the assessment to create our IT career framework, which anyone can use, anyone in IT, anyone who wants to be in IT, they can all use the framework to help them get to where they want to go. So if you're in desktop support right now and you have dreams of being a Drupal programmer, we can show you the career path to get there and show you the development and training opportunities um, to get you where you want to go. You as the person wanting to do something are responsible for your own development. Your manager is responsible for supporting you in that and getting you what you need and what you ask for, but you're responsible for directing your own career development at Cornell. We have materials set for them and the way that we obtained those materials were we sent out surveys to people already doing those jobs. And we said to them, what has been your most beneficial training? What has been your most beneficial development? What are the things that you use to stay current? We have blogs that people should follow if they want to be in a, a certain career or a certain job family at Cornell. We have training that we recommend, whether it's on lynda.com or you should go take an Amazon Web Services certification. There's just a range. You have to have top-down support. If, you're, if your managers aren't buying in, they're not going to support the employees. And then on the flip side of that, you have to empower your employees to go after their own career development. And it's, it's a really delicate balance of how you do that.